Hi everyone, I hope you are doing extremely well and your placement preparation is also going well. Well guys, first of all, if you are new to this channel or haven't subscribed my channel till now, then do consider subscribing this channel as this really motivates me to make more such content for you and for your placement preparation. Also guys, don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will never miss any update from my side. So let's start with the video now. So in this video, we are going to solve a coding problem that was recently asked in extension on campus exam. Okay, this is a super easy coding problem. So we will be solving. First of all, we will make the logic and then we will have a look on the code part. Okay, and I will drop all the files related to this code in the Telegram community. So if you haven't tele if so if you haven't joined the Telegram community yet, then make sure to join the Telegram community. It is free. And all the resources are completely free, so you can access them from the Telegram, right? The link is given in the description. So let's start with the video. So the question is, first of all, let me take the pen. The question is, given an array of integers and a number sum, print all pairs in the array whose sum is equal to the sum. Okay, now let's have a look on the examples. So the very first input is, there is an array containing some elements like 1, 5, 7, minus 1, and 5. Now, sum is given 6. Now, you have to you have to find out those pairs who will make the sum as 6. So, if we consider 1 and 5, so we can make 6. So, 1 and 5 will can appear, right? Now, if we consider 5 and 7, so no. If we consider 7 and minus 1, so we will, if, uh, just a minute, just a minute. If I take 7 plus minus 1, so, it will be 6 only. So, it can be a pair. Means 7, comma minus 1 can also be a pair. Right. And 5 and minus 1, no. But this 1 and this 5 can also make a pair. So, this is how there are 3 pairs available. 1, comma 5, 7, comma minus 1 and 1, comma 5. Right. That will make sum as 6. Now, in the second input array, there are some elements and we have to make 7 as the sum. Right, so if we take 2 and 5, so it will make 7. But if we take 2 and 17, that will not make 7. 5 and 17, that will again not make 7. 5 minus 1, no. So there is no any other combination or we can say pair that can make 7. Right, so the answer will be only 2 comma 5. Now, what should be the naive approach to solve this problem? There is a naive approach, but the time complexity is in the range of uh, order of n square. So we will not use that code. Uh, of the naive approach in our code part, we will use the optimal approach. But first of all, let's see what is the naive approach to solve this problem. So, if we use uh, two for loops, or we can say if we use two pointer approach, suppose I will be taking the first pointer is here and the second pointer is here, and first of all, we will take the uh, sum of these, okay, and we will check if these sum is equal to the given sum. If it is then we will have to print those pairs. But if it is not, then we will have to simply increment the value of i and increment the value of j. Or we can say, we have to increment the step of first pointer and we have to increment the step of second one. Right? So, how can we code it in the naive approach? So, let's, uh, let's have a rough code. Okay. So, if we take for and the first pointer will start from i equals to 0 only and this will goes up to the length of the array and i plus. Now in the for loop int j equals to i plus 1 j will also goes up to the size of the array and j plus plus. Right now if array of i plus array of j Okay, don't consider this okay is equals to equals to sum then what you have to do is you have to print you have to print the array of ai and in the form of pair okay and array of j so this can be the naive approach so let's dry run this code okay so first of all suppose just a minute first of all suppose our pointer i pointer is here and according to this loop, j pointer is on i plus 1. So j pointer is on this, right? Second, on fifth. Okay. Now, 
First of all, I equals to zero, so we will check for the condition. I is less than n, so n value is six, so zero is less than six, so the condition is true. The control will come into the for loop, and then j value is i plus one, so j value is zero plus one means one. So j is here, j pointer is here, and i pointer is here, right? Now we will check for this condition. J is less than nine, so one is less. Sorry, n. So one is less than six, so the condition is again true. We will come into the For loop and here we have to check for condition. If array of i, so what is the value of array of i? Array of zero this time plus array of j. So j value is one. So we will have to see that array of i means one plus array of j. Array of j is means array of one. So zero one. Okay, according to the index, index starts from zero and it will goes up to n minus one. So zero one two three four. Right, so array of one की जगह क्या है? Fifth, five. Okay, so this makes six. So if the sum is equals to the required sum, then we will have to print array of five and array of j. So we will print the one comma five as in. Okay, so this is how this loop will work. But this is the naive approach, and the time complexity of this approach is order of n square. So we will not use this approach. We will use the optimal approach. Now, what can be the optimal approach of this? Take a pause and think a little bit about it. Now, first of all, what we will have to do is first of all we have to initialize a hash set uh, like this. Okay. Then what we will do? We will traverse the whole array and for each element in the array, check if the difference. Uh, if the difference between the sum and the current element is exist in the hash set or not, if it is exist, then you have to print that. Other and then you have to add the current element into the hash set. Okay, so let's see the code of this. Like how we can code it. So first of all, what we have to do is according to the algorithm or the steps to solve this problem. First of all, we will make a. Now what we will do. We will traverse the array. So we have to traverse the array. Okay. So for int i equals to zero, i is less than n and i plus plus. Now we will be checking that the difference between sum and the current element is present in the hash table or not. So uh, why we are taking difference here? So if the sum is six. And I am checking for this. Okay, I have found one element. So if I subtract it from this, so I will get five. Means the next pair element, right? So this is how we are. We can get the next element. So first of all, what we have to check is suppose we will take like we will store that element in temp, and then we will be taking some minus the current element. Okay, the current element. So if it is present in the hash table, or we can say our hash set. So if it, if this element temp is present in the hash set, so what we will do, we will first of all check if it is present. Okay, if temp is present in the here, we will write a condition if temp is present in the whole set or not. So if it is present, then what we have to do, we have to simply print this temp. Along with array of i, right? This will be a pair. And then what we have to do is we have to insert it, insert the current element into our hash set. Okay, into our hash set. Now let's code it. Okay, I hope you get the idea. Now we will see the code part of this, and you will be having the proper logic. In the code part also, I will again tell you the logic, the whole thing. Okay, and we will try run this code. So let's go on to the VS Code and see the code of this. Just a minute. Okay. So I have already uh, write some things. Okay, there is an array sum is six required, and so and here we are calling a function print pairs, and just we have to complete this function. Okay, so let's code it, guys. So first of all, what we will do, we will take a unordered set, right? We will take a unordered set. Unordered set in 
S. I used to code in C++. That is why I am writing in C++. Okay. Then what we will do? We will start a for loop to traverse the whole array. I equals to zero and I is less than n and I plus. Okay. As the array index start from zero, so that is why I am taking the condition as I is less than n, not less than equals. Right. So here, what I have to do is. We have to find out the difference between sum minus the current element of the array, right? And then what we have to do is we have to check if so. From here, we have to find out whether the set contains the temp or not. Okay, whether the set contains the temp or not. Now come into the if part. So. If it is present, then what we have to do is we have to simply print our pair, right? So this and then what we will have to do is first of all we have to print tam and then comma, then okay. So now here we have to print the current element. Okay, so I think this is enough. Yeah, yeah, okay. Now, at the last, what we are going to do? We will insert the current element. Sorry, insert, and then we will insert the current element, means array of i in our set. Okay, so this is the whole code. Now, first of all, uh, let's run this code whether it is working or not. So let's run from here. Uh, this showing some errors, I think. So I guess there should not be. Done. Okay, so from here, as we can see, this is giving the required pairs: one comma five, seven comma minus one, and one comma five. So this was all. These were all the pairs we have discussed, right? So this is how the code is working. Now let's try run this code. Okay, so first of all, let me take the pen. Yeah. So we have passed the array like one, five, seven, minus one, and five. So and this required sum is six. So from here, from this line, we are calling our function, and the array will go from here, and the size of the array from here, and the required sum from here. Right? Understood? Now we will make a set, or we can say we will make an unordered set, and in the initial time, it is empty. Right now, first of all, what we have to do is we have to traverse the whole array to find the required pair. Now, what we will do to find the current element, or we can see to find the required pair. If I subtract the current element from the sum, then I can get the pair. If it if it will be a pair, then for sure I can get after subtracting from my uh, from sum. Right. So this is why we are subtracting here. And we will find that whether it is present in the set or not. So if it is present, then we will have to print this. So for so let's run this code for this loop. Here is our set. So first of all, we have to initialize our set, but it is empty. Okay, so no any element in our set. Okay, no any element in our set. So first of all, we have to traverse the whole array. So what we will do this time? I value is zero. Means the pointer is here on one. Now. We are in the for loop, and what we are finding temp equals to sum minus array of five. So sum is six minus array of five means array of zero. So array of zero is one only. So this will give me five. Now we will check whether five is present in the set or not. So as we can see here that our set is empty only. So what we will do? This will return us false that five is not present. So we will come out of the if part, and we will come here. Now what we have to do is. We have to insert the current element into our set. So, what is the current element now? The current element is one only, right? Our pointer was on one, so the current element is one, and we will insert the one in our set. Okay. Now, in the for loop, the i value will value will be incremented, and it will become one now. Now, the pointer is on five, right? Now, the pointer is on five, and we will repeat the process now. Temp equals to sum minus array of i. So sum is six minus array of i means the current element. So this time the current element is five. So we will subtract the five and what we will get one. Now we will check for one whether one is present on our set or not. 
okay so one is already present in our set okay as we as we can see from here that one is already present in our set so what we will do we will have to print the value of temp and then the current element so what is the value of temp temp is one now and what is the value of current element so the pointer was here on 5 so the current element is 5 now so this will print this thing so this is how we can print our pair okay so the pair will be printed now what we will have to do is as dot insert current element so we will be inserting the current element so what is our current element current element is 5 only so we will insert the 5 in our hash shell okay now let's again increment the value of i and it will be pointing on 7 now 0 1 2 so the i value is 2 now and we will check for the condition whether 2 is less than the size of the array so it is true again so we will come into the for loop again and what we have to find is we have to find sum minus the current element so sum is 6 minus current element is 7 right so what we will get we will get minus 1 now we will look at that minus 1 is present in our set or not so minus 1 is not present in our set right so we will come directly here and what we will add we will add the current element so what is our current element current element is 7 so 7 will be inserted in our set okay now the again i value will be incremented and i value will become now 3 i value is now 3 okay and it is pointing now on minus 1 at the index 3 now we will have to find out the temp. Okay, so temp is sum minus the current element. So 6 minus the current element. The current element is this time minus 1. 6 minus minus 1 will become 7. And we will find out that 7 is present in the set or not. So as we can see from here that 7 is present. So what we will have to do is we have to simply print the temp and the current element. So the temp value is 7. And the current ele element was minus 1. So, this is how we can print our next pair here. Right? Now, let's again go into the for loop. And it will increment the i value. And i value is now 4. And it is pointing now on 5. Okay. So, let's come here. In term assign sum minus area of 5. So, what is the value of sum? Sum is 6 minus what is the current element? Current element is 5. Right? So, this will give us 1. Now we will check for 1, whether 1 is present in our set or not. So from here as we can see 1 is present. So what we will do, we will print temp and array of i means the current element. So temp is 1 and the current element is array is pointing or we can say i is pointing on 5. So the current, uh, the current element is 5. So we will again print a pair 1,5. And, and, and then what we have to do is we have to insert the current element in our set. So, the current element is 5. So, 5 also will be in, uh, 5 also will be added in our set. So, all the values like 1, 5, 7, 5. Till now, these are the values. Now, we will again increment the uh, increment the i value and it will be now 5. And we will have to check whether 5 is less than n. So, n size is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 only. So, 5 is less than n. So, the condition is true and we will jump out of the for loop. Okay. And our program ends here. So, we have already got our three pairs. Right. So, this is how the code is working here. This is how the code is working here. I hope you guess the idea. I hope all the things are clear to you. But still you have doubts, then you can ask me on Instagram or Telegram. Okay. And I would suggest you, after seeing this video, Go and code this code. Okay. Go and write this code on your VS code or whenever you use to write the code. Okay. And I will put the article link of GFG article link. This problem is on GFG as well. So I will put the GFG article link in my telegram community. Okay. So go and check. You will be having the proper idea of that. And if you don't know about unordered set and hashing and so, so here I use C++ STL concepts, okay? So, and I used to code in C++, so this is the logic of C++. Okay, so I hope all the things are clear to you. So, yeah, that's all for today from my side. So, we will meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care. And if you like this video, then please hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to this channel, then please consider subscribing to the channel. So, let's meet in the next video. Till then, bye-bye and take care.